Hello, and welcome to this Sir Code for Adobe e Encoder tutorial video. In this part of a series, I will demonstrate how to encode a file with a 5.1 surround mix on Program 1 and an LTRTM Program 2 in Pro Tools, effectively creating a Adobe e Encoded file with a 5.1 plus 2 program configuration. Create a new Pro Tools session, making sure that the sample rate is set to 48K and the bit depth to 24-bit. Import a 5.1 interleaf file into your Pro Tools timeline. Next, import an LTRT file that has been generated from the surround file addressed in the previous step. If you require assistance in generating this LTRT file, please refer to the Sir Cole for Dolby ProLogic 2 tutorial video by clicking on this link. Select both files in your Pro Tools timeline with the grabber tool. Go Audio Suite, Sir Cole for Dolby E Encoder. When the Sir Cole for Dolby E Encoder UI appears, click on the Browse button at top left to name the Dolby E file you are about to generate and in order to specify the directory where you would like to save this file to. Apply the appropriate frame rate of your material and specify the frame offset according to the spec sheet that you have been supplied with. In this case, no frame offset, and a frame rate of 2997 FPS. Next, specify 5.1 plus 2 as your program configuration from the contextual menu at top right. Optionally, you can specify a program description and a dial norm value for each program on the right hand side of the circle for Dolby e Encoders UI. Finally, specify any other parameters under the program tabs according to your spec sheet. You are now ready to create a 5.1 plus 2 Dolby E encoded file with a 5.1 surround mix on program 1 and an LTRT on program 2. Click encode at bottom right in order to generate your Dolby E encoded file. Import the Dolby E file you just created into your Pro Tools session timeline. Under Inserts, go Multi Channel Plugin, Other, Circle for Dolby E Decoder. Map the output of this audio track to your control room monitors and hit Play. You will now be able to monitor your Dolby E encoded file in real time. 